Rembrandt, Picasso, Van Gogh, both Morisot. Most people have heard of these and maybe seen their paintings. Well, perhaps not the last one. The first three are all male artists. The last one is a female artist. We don't hear much about them. Like many things, art was a male-dominated area. This is a booklet 24 of the booklets I've been producing for my great-granddaughter Ruby, who was in year seven. Most of the booklets are on maths and science, but I decided uh, she needed to do a little bit about art, probably. So this booklet is about female artists. When I was, the first two books I made were uh, uh, called Famous Artists, the second famous British artist, and I realized that they were all male. There were no female artists listed. So I decided to look on the internet and see, are there any female artists? Well, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of female artists. Some very famous ones, though I'd never heard of them, but I've taken out some of the ones I think were probably worth merit and made a list of them. And in each case, I've shown a couple of paintings they've done. You'll find some female painters and you will see that some of their work is as good as any of the male painters. At least, I think so. Uh, and no doubt the art critics amongst you will say, tut, tut, that's not possible. Look at the art line, look at this, look at the shape, look at the lighting. And I just reply by saying, if I like it, I like it. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I like these paintings. I hope you will do too. Now here are the artists I've chosen. And you'll see them all listed as we go through the book. Now through the years, art styles have changed. Medieval, re Renaissance, realism, all that sort of thing. Right from, uh, I've taken from uh, 500 to up to uh, 1945. There are some more after this uh, as well. Down. But by looking at the dates of this, and comparing it to the dates in which the artist lived, you can get some idea of the style they painted in. But some of them change the style. Uh, I'll take an example. Uh, Rosa von Hur will come across, uh, and you'll find that her style was a realism in that sort of period time. You can do the same with all the artists. You check the dates, the births that they were living in, and see what sort of style they painted in. So here we go. The first one is Sophonisba Anguilsola. She was born in Cremona in 1532 and died in 1625. And these are two of the paintings I picked out. I like them anyway. One is called the Tudor Era, and the other is called Portrait of Amalcar. So I think they're nice paintings. Here we have Rosa von Hur, uh, born in Bordeaux age 22, died in 1899, and you can say that her style was animals, really. You compare her date of birth, you find what style is down on. Now, Mary Cassette was born in Pennsylvania in 1844 and died in 1926. And again, I've got two pages I like, one called Summertime, and the other is called A Young Mother Sewing. This is Artemisia Gentilesque, born in Rome in 1593 and died in 1653. And I think these are quite nice paintings. This is called Where is Ariadne? And this is called Mary Magdalene. Now, she was very keen on painting pictures of Mary Magdalene. You'll find plenty of these on the internet. This is uh, Frida Calho born in uh, Coyoacan in Mexico in 1907, died in 1954. Now you might wonder why I blanked out these pictures. This is called Roots, and this is called Deer. She did a lot of painting of Deer. Now Frida 
died in 1954. And I read on the internet that uh, copyright for painters is 70 years after their death. So it, I don't want to infringe any copyright, so I've, I've blanked this one out. But if you look at the roots on Google by Frida Kahlo, and look at Deer by Frida Kahlo, you're going to see the actual paintings. This is Judith Leister. She was born in Harlem, not to Harlem, New York, Harlem, Holland, I think, in 1609 and died in 1660. And you can see her style of paintings here. Two musicians and flowers in a vase. Now, most of her paintings were flowers. Elizabeth Viguet Lebrun, born in Paris, 1755, died 1842. She was very keen on Marie Antoinette paintings. This is Marie Antoinette with her family. And it's another painting I like called Cupid. This is the woman mentioned at the beginning of the booklet, Bertha Morisot. She was born in Burge, I think that should be Bruges rather than Burge, 1841, and died 1895. And two of her paintings I picked up was a mandolin and in the dining room. Of course, that should be Bertha Morisot, not Beth, but Berth or Bertha. The final uh, artist on here uh, is not famous yet. I'm hoping that one day she will be. And, and this is uh, Ruby Hart. She was born in Lincoln in 2008 because she's my great granddaughter. And here are two of her paintings. This one we've called What Do You See? And the other one. called colours. So there we are, these are female artists and there are lots and lots on the internet. The ones I've had to blank out the paintings, please have a look on Google. They are nice paintings and I think you'll enjoy them too. Uh, and once again this is pictures I've picked out are, are my choice really and I think they're all nice anyway. I'll just go back to the first page again to show you the lady artists. So these are the artists I've chosen. I hope you like the painting as much as I did. And I hope you'll realise that there are lots of female artists. They're not all male. Uh, Ruby was telling me that Van Gogh didn't make any money when he was alive. As opposed to a uh, modern artist like uh, Damien Hirst, for example, who I read yesterday, made £315 million last year. So, there must be money in art somewhere. So bye for now.